So I have literally just got to the hotel. I only took about 15 minutes from the train station uh, or metro station. But as usual, or as in my last video, I'm going to give you a quick room tour. Um, and then we're going to have a look at the gym, or at least the opening times of the gym, um, which as far as I've just checked, are not ideal at all. But anyway, let's do a quick tour. So just as you come through the door here, you've got like a toilet um, with a massive mirror, not going to lie. Um, so it's a separate toilet and as in Europe you, you have a douche as, as usual. You come in, there's a lovely piece of art on the wall there, but um, you walk through the hallway um, and then you've got the second bathroom or the second part of the bathroom, which is the, well, I suppose what you call the main bathroom with shower um, and there's actually a scales I've just noticed there, which is going to be very, very useful, but nice bathrobes, shame you have to pay for them, but yeah, it's a nice, nice mirror, lighting looks pretty decent. Um, you come through, you've got some storage cupboards there, you've got a fridge in there with some extortionately priced water, so we just had a look and the water is something like three euros. Um, you've got some storage down there for my suitcase, etc. And then you come into the main area, so you've got a desk at the end, which I'm going to be using for editing. You've got a sort of seated area there, and then you've got a huge bed, so um, another big old mirror there. So there's plenty of mirrors for taking selfies, which is going to be very, very good. Uh, let's have a look what the view is like. There you go, there is Porto. Uh, Porto. Um, I'm not sure where the water is. Uh, can't really see, I think it's that way, um, but I suppose we'll find out when we go for a walk. Um, but yeah, there you go guys, that is the, uh, that is the um, hotel room tour. Now, I just spoke to the lady at the reception and she says the gym shuts at 5.30 on a Sunday. And it is literally 5 to 5 now, so I'm not going to be able to get a proper session in. So I thought what I might do is actually just go down and do some cardio and actually just have a look at the gym so I know where I'm going to go um, tomorrow evening. They don't open till 7am and I pretty much need to leave about 8am each day for work. So it's going to have to be an evening session. They're open till 9.30 so it should be okay. Um, so I think it's going to be a, a late session, maybe like... 8.30 till 9.30 or just get a session out of the way and then go out for dinner each night which will probably be the case to be fair but yeah as I said I'm going to go downstairs I'm going to do some cardio have a look at the gym and then we will come back up have a shower get changed go out and find some food but I am very very hungry and very very thirsty so I hope they've got some water in the gym and that is um, 20 minutes of cardio done uh, the gym's going to be shut in like five minutes so I'm going to give you a quick tour so we're in one corner of the gym here and I won't take you down the whole thing but Essentially, we've got um, cardio equipment down there, and then you come down here, and you've got all of the weights equipment, and there's a lot of weights, to be fair, and a lot of machines, um, which is going to be very, very good for my sessions. Um, and then as you come around here, you've got like free weights, CrossFit sort of area, um, and then more machines in the corner. So, as you can see, there's um, definitely not enough of a gym for me to sessions out for basically the rest of the week so my plan is to train afterward um, but as I said I'm gonna go back up to the hotel and get showered cleaned up because I stink and then I will catch you in a bit. Right we are now showered, changed and ready to go out and find some food. Um, first things first um, I've just realized that I forgot to bring um, a uh, what's the word adapter for charging so I've got all my charging cables blah 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 but I don't have the adapter to actually put it in any of these walls there's no USB ports or anything so I've only got the charge on my rechargeable battery to keep my phone alive so I'm gonna have to try and find a shop um, to buy one or ask the hotel if they've got one. I'll show you what I'm wearing um, so I've got just a plain black um, t-shirt well I say plain black it's got this sort of detail on it um, I've got black jeans and then my white Yeezys. Um, so really, really, really basic. Um, I think this is from Boohoo Man. It says like blue flamingo on the front and blue flamingo on the back. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and try and find some food. I'm gonna ask what time the breakfast is to just, just to double check and see if they've got um, an adapter. Um, and then we will go from there. Okay, so first things first, priorities. We get some Monster. Luckily there's a shop like right next to the um, hotel 
it's just like a mini supermarket so I managed to pick up some well I say some managed to pick up one monster to fuel me for this journey because I haven't actually eaten since um, what was it like seven o'clock this morning now I managed to speak to the concierge at the hotel and get um, two things first is a plug adapter which is pretty rare actually in the UK they probably would have told you to jog on but they gave me a plug adapter for the time that I'm here which is pretty sick um, and they also gave me some recommendations for restaurants um, and downtown because I haven't eaten in 12 hours at 7 o'clock this morning so I am starving and this monster is going to get me through but it's not going to keep me alive so I need to find some food so I mentioned some recommendations that I found online she said they're good and she gave me five of her own so I'm just going to head downtown have a walk around and just see whatever looks good Here we are now downtown. I'm not gonna lie, the smell of food is incredible, so I don't think I'm gonna go hungry. But yeah, we're walking up to this um, cathedral now. I'm gonna check this out, I'm gonna have a look around, and then um, go from there. vlog on my phone for the rest of the evening uh, which is also on charge on the battery but we've walked down to uh, downtown and we're just going to explore around for a bit <laughs> Sure I've decided where I'm gonna eat um, and it's a late night like Asian um, bao noodles place which means that I am gonna go exploring for a few more hours so we are going down a lot of steps to go down to the waterfront um, and genuinely I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones like King's Landing or something it's ridiculously like really old and just like really really nice setting and you can see that in the background it's all like really hilly as well so it reminds me of Lisbon quite a bit but um it's just full of all old like towers and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to walk down to the waterfront and have a little walk down there. And uh, maybe get a drink down there. And then walk back up there. There's a lot of towers going up and down the stairs.
literally don't know how to explain it, but it's literally one of, it's genuinely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It reminds me a lot of Lisbon, um, obviously because it's in Portugal, not that far from Lisbon. say that I'm going to add this to my list for personal holiday and not just work and definitely come back here in my own time because this is just ridiculously nice. It's one of the nicest places I've ever been.
yeah. I mean, the view is just out fucking standing. It's definitely one of the nicest places I've ever been. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show the actual view for real, but damn. One thing I have noticed already is, like Lisbon, there are a shitload of hills. And I have not eaten for like 14 hours now. So my legs, after leg day yesterday, are killing me. So I'm walking up this hill now to this uh, monument thing. And I think this might be my last of the night because the sun is setting. And as I said, I need to get some food, get back to the hotel and actually get a decent night's sleep before my first day at work in Portugal tomorrow. So let's go up here, burn some calories. Enjoy the view and then get some food. Oh my god, this place is beautiful. Um, so I will just show you the view that I'm presented with. It is stunning. Like, and then the view behind me this uh, monument so I've got a stunning view that way which is where the sun's coming from which is what I look like a golden tone rather than a pale white now I've got this big monument behind me just surrounded by just utter beauty
the modern day king's land. Obviously, though, I feel so it's more like a full ladder and like a king, so that's how much of it is good, so we need to find that ending. Hello, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing the I'm going to go from that. I am now back where it all started at the um, Cathedral, Port of the Cathedral. So I'm actually very, very close to the station, which means I can get like one stop back up and go to this bow place. I'm already walking, lovely weather. Look at that sky. I'm going to lose my face, but that sky is just ridiculous. Not a bad shop food, it's hard rock cafe food. What it is not for cheese, it's definitely very, very, very good and very tasty in America. So, that's a potential for later in the week. Um, crisis averted, Ico storage is full, but I've just deleted a few, I think a few, a lot of apps that I don't use. And I think we're actually on the road with the restaurant is on, so I'm fingers crossed that they've actually got space and I can get a table. If not, I genuinely think it might have to be McDonald's, which would be a trap for food because. I'm in Portugal, I don't know where I'm going. A shock, I'm in the toilet again doing the video, but they don't have any seats right now, so I'm going to have to wait up half an hour, but it's worth it, it smells incredible, there's a queue out the door, so you know it's going to be good. Basically, I went to that restaurant, the uh, Asian place called Bao Ao, Bao Boa, something like that. And I was waiting for about half an hour. Uh, I'm at the bar for a table. They sat me down and then I was sat at the table for 15 minutes and no one had to come to serve me. So I literally, I just got up and left and I thought, I saw a hard rock cafe on the way. I know hard rock's nice. I've been there before. It's delicious. I knew I had 2,000 calories left. It was only 1,000 for breakfast, 14 hours before. So I went in and I got a <coughs> legendary, like original legendary burger and side teaser salad. And that, I was seated straight away. And my food came out within like 10 minutes. So I'm now walking back to the hotel, which is about 40 minute walk to be fair. And I could get um, a tube, but the reason I'm walking is because obviously <laughs> I've just had that 2,000 calorie um, hard rock meal and I feel a bit bloated so the walk will actually help that but it's all hills man, my legs are burning from yesterday's leg session so it's brutal, you can hear I'm out of breath but it's going to be worth it so right, I know you can't see me but I've been walking half an hour 
and I want to laugh like straight now but we have got this monument which is actually like a roundabout um, which we know is near the hotel but it's pretty sick it is about 11 o'clock at night not sure what's actually on top of it looks like a bird an owl or a finch or something like a giant stone owl and then at the base of it here we've got like loads of soldiers I would say so we'll need to do with a battle. You know, I'll have to think about it after look at that. But yeah, about 10 minutes from the hotel now. Because um, I did this bit of the walk earlier to the train station. And then it is time for bed. Because I'm fucked. Finally back at the hotel. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's been one hell of a day. Um, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I can highly, highly recommend the company to support. I've been here a day, I've got another four days here um, before I move back down to Lisbon and then going home. Um, so I've got, I think, you know, a few evenings to explore Porto yet, and I already love it. Like, the vibe is really, really nice, the streets are really, really old, and like so much history and a massive fan of history. Um, it reminds me of Game of Thrones, like I was saying earlier in the video, but. Um, I need to get some sleep because I'm up early for work, probably about 6.30, which is my usual time. Um, and it's been a heck of a long day. Um, I've actually ended up walking a silly number of steps um, to accumulate today is 20,000, um, which is a good amount. Um, I think that's going to help with burning some calories as well as the cardio within the gym, as I said. Um, so I'm actually aiming to lose a little bit of weight on this trip. Um, Whenever I go away with work, um, you struggle to eat during the day because you're so busy. So I'm going to have around 1,000 calories for breakfast, which should leave 2,000 calories for the evening. And obviously, if we go somewhere, I can't just smash 2,000 calories, then I'm not going to eat it. Um, I've got some protein bars with me, so protein shouldn't be an issue. Um, and I'm just going to drink coffee and water throughout the day. So um, I will catch back up with you later in the week. Um, and I hope, you, hope you've enjoyed the video guys as always please give it a like please subscribe um, comment below if you like the video it's something a bit more uh, dip, a bit different to my last travel vlog because I was actually doing uh, this one I've actually done a bit of like touristy stuff so hope you liked it I'm gonna get some sleep because I am absolutely shattered um, and I will catch up with you in the next video